These are a pair of AirPod Pros. And it doesn't matter if you have the USB-C version or the Lightning port version, which we have both of them right here. But thanks to the recent firmware update of iOS 18.2, these are not only certified to be actually used as hearing aids, but the hearing aid support is now available in other regions. So I have the regions listed right there. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and not only go through a handful of new features that was just recently added, but also go through the little nitty gritty stuff you definitely need to know to get the most out of your AirPods. And as always, timestamps are in the description down below for your pleasure. Starting off with just connecting these to our phone and go more in depth about the features. So in the settings, just wait a couple seconds for your AirPods to pop up. If they don't pop up for whatever said reason, maybe you have multiple Apple devices nearby, you can override the connection by bringing down Control Center, tap the little AirPlay icon, and then select them right here. That's how you can manually override them so they are forced to connect. But now we have this new tab right here where you could tap in. And here you have the ability to rename these if you have a bunch of AirPods. It's a, it's a good tip to rename them so you don't get confused. But here you can select between the different modes that it has. You can also select between the different modes in Control Center by long holding. I'll go more into detail about this in a little bit. But down here, where it says hearing health, this is where you can enable the loud sound reduction, which thanks to the H2 chip that's found inside each earbud, these can actually hear and respond to the environment instantly quicker than ever before. By having this on, whenever you're walking down the street and there's like a loud bang like of construction, or you're maybe you're next to a gun range, the active noise cancellation will immediately trigger on to prevent yourself from gaining any hearing damage or experiencing that loud ding if you've ever been exposed to a loud decibel level instantly. So turn that on, but below there's where you can start the fit ear test. Because out of the box, you do have access to four different silicone tips you can switch between, a new extra small and a large one. So if you think that the AirPods don't sound good for you, run the fit ear test and use the internal microphones to make sure there's no sound leakage and then just follow the unscreen instruction it's going to play like sounds and you'll get the green light that they're good and then sometimes some ear canals are different than than the right or left side so it's okay to mix match the silicone tips but getting out of here this is where you'll find the hearing assistant now i already went ahead and done this test and it was recommending me that i do not need hearing aid i was okay but let's go ahead and run the test real quick and let me go through the general. So as soon as you start the test, you do have to answer this Q&A and then hit next. And you are required to be in a quiet room. I recommend closing your windows, going into a closet because the sound that it makes is really quiet, which requires a lot of attention to make sure you're getting the right results. So move into a very quiet room in a household if you can. And then once you realize that you're in a quiet place, you'll be able to hit next. And once you're at this page, you will be required to put on the earbuds, of course, but also it will be mandatory for you to do a fit ear test to make sure you have the right fit. So once you hit next, we do that little fit test once more, and then you'll get the green to go on. And then we hit next. Our devices will be placed in do not disturb mode. And the test involves playing sound for both the right and left ear. And you just need to tap on the screen whenever you hear the sound. And this test can take up to 10 minutes. And once you're done with the test, show results. And it will give you your results right here. So it looks like there's no change. There's nothing. We don't need hearing aids. And once you're done, and you're done with the test, our hearing assistant is turned off. But if you go into your health app on your iPhone, and then we go into browse and select hearing, you'll be able to see your results right here as well. And you could keep track of it if you like to like do this self test once a while. And it'll give you more additional information over here, down here. So it's pretty cool that it allows you to keep track with the health app to actually monitor your hearing levels as you age. But now let's go ahead and retake this test and this time let's purposely fail. Now, let's see our results, but before I go ahead and do that, be sure to leave this video a like because I like to keep my videos sponsored free. So no brands or anything like that, just solely powered by you guys, the viewers. So if you appreciate these sponsor-free ad videos from any VPNs and such, be sure to leave this video a like and let me know that you actually do enjoy no ad integrations. Now, let's check these results out. Oh man, these are awful. All right, but it's recommending us to set up hearing aid. I purposely failed, so I'm not surprised. So here, it walks you through everything. Just hit the get started, 
and it's also advising us that these settings will take a while to get used to just like eyewear i guess and then hearing aid is now enabled oh my god this is interesting now it does walk you through the capability to quickly adjust certain things on demand on control center so if we launch control center a long whole other volume icon you'll see the hearing aid functionality where you could bring it down the hearing aid assistant or increase it to your personal preference pretty awesome this is trippy because it sounds like i have like super hearing right now but if we go back to the hearing assistant you do have the ability to manually disable it or always go back and readjust it if you want to balance it and you can also increase the conversation boost too if you absolutely need it i like that but if you go back media assistant this hearing aid settings will also be applied for viewing content or listening to media like your podcast music or youtube videos and it's also adjusted and automatically applied for phone calls as well as facetime which is quite awesome and here where it says update hearing test results this will bring you your history of the other hear results that you had so i guess this is a great tool to know in case you're sharing these earbuds with other individuals like your spouse as an example and you can just switch between their profiles so that's uh, hearing aid in a nutshell. I'm going to go ahead and go back and go to my default results by disabling this. But now back in this page where it says press and hold for AirPods. This is where you could customize these AirPods your own personal preference. So I could have the left side to not only adjust the audio, but if I want to, my left will be only able to summon Siri if I long hold the stem. Now an answer calls. This is where you customize it where a single press will be able to answer a call. A double press will mute or unmute your call. And after answering call, a single press will also end the call. And you can go in and change it to one press, or if you want to end the call with a single press, you could do that. But when you put all of them at one press, it will automatically switch these two, as you've noticed right here. But answer call is only stuck to be one press. Now in personalized audio, this will adjust the volume of the media you're listening to in response of your environments. So again, if you have awareness enabled, so if we long hold right here and activate conversation awareness or adapted with personalized audio, it will automatically adjust to your environment. So if there's a truck driving, active mode cancellation will slightly kick in. You can also do the exact same thing with conversation awareness, where it'll lower your media that you're listening to and focus more on the conversation if it detects you're talking to somebody. And this is all utilizing the built-in microphones that it has. And then the adapted audio, you do have the ability to make it more aggressive for noise cancellation or less aggressive. All personal preference, you have this three position slider. And then in automatic ear detection, this is good to disable if you feel like you're not a huge fan how when you remove an earbud, it will automatically pause your earbud. By having this disabled, this will no longer do that. Your media will continue playing if you don't like the auto pause and play ability. And where it says connected to this iPhone, if you select last connected to this iPhone, if you have other Apple devices nearby and your AirPods are connected to your phone, it's not going to automatically switch from the next Apple device. It will stay and continue being connected to your iPhone. But if you like to simultaneously just switch between one de Apple device to the other, like your Mac or iPad, select automatic. But then out of here, where it says personalized spatial audio, highly recommend setting this up. By tapping on this tab, it will walk you through your personalized spatial audio, which will create a custom profile for your ears and will allow you to experience like basically a 3D movie theater experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop using personalized spatial audio and start all over. And it'll walk you through basically the entire setup procedure, but it will require you to pick up your phone and actually align to your face. Now I'm unsure what's going on here, but for some reason my personalization audio could not be set up. I think my phone is just bugged. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to skip this, but I'm still gonna continue on and showing you what it does exactly. Because now, again, in the control center, if you long hold, you have the ability to switch between the different modes that it has, like active noise cancellation, adapted audio, or noise cancellation. And in conversation awareness, you can enable it regardless on which mode you're in. Rather, if you're, you're in adapted mode, you still have the ability to enable conversation awareness. And in the spatial audio, this was where you could actually tap on it and select between a fixed position or a rotating position or turn it off. A fixed position is good for like podcasts, but a non-fixed position will be ideal for like movie watching where it sounds like as soon as you move your head, you can hear the film on the right side or the left side. It's really a fun experience. But down here where it says microphone, where it says automatic, the first AirPod you place on will be the dedicated microphone. But if you like to set a dedicated one, you can select right or left AirPods if you want to make that into the dedicated one. 
And then charging sounds, since the speakers are located on the case itself, you can enable it so it gives you sound feedback. And optimized battery charging, I recommend leaving this on, especially when it comes to AirPods because the internal battery is non-replaceable. The only way to replace the battery is to replace the entire earbud himself or the case itself. So with optimization, it will only charge to the safe rate to give you the best longevity out of these built-in batteries. And then Find My Network, if you ever misplace your AirPods, by launching the Find My app, you can select the AirPods and you can allow it so you can actually play sound from the case itself to help locate it faster. And this is a built-in feature in every AirPod. But let's say, for example, you, you still are having a hard time locating your AirPods Pros. Well, don't panic because you could actually tie your contact information for someone to get a hold of you if they find it. You'll be able to set this up in the Find My app by simply launching the Find My app and then you just tap on the devices tab and look for your AirPods that you like to mark as lost. And when you click on it, you'll see this screen where it says show contact information. If you click on here, you'll be able to update the contact information. So if somebody finds it, they'll be able to get a hold of you via email, phone number, sources of contacting you. Because if you tap next, you see we have the ability to use a phone number or set an email address. And that number will only be visible once you enable lost mode. And the only way to enable the lost mode ability is for the AirPods to actually be several feet or miles away from you. And then with the latest version of tvOS 18.2, connecting these to the Apple TV is super easy. That's all you need to do is just go into your control center, go into the AirPlay icon, or sometimes it may also automatically pop up on the right corner, letting you know that you connect to your nearby AirPods in case you're wearing them. But once you hit connect, you can take advantage of the new head movement gesture with the second generation AirPod Pros, where you are now able to just nod your head for a yes or nod your head for a no to respond to Siri without verbally talking to it. And then, thanks to this recent update, if you have AirPods connected to your device, and then we go ahead and play some music, hit play, and we hit our lock screen, you notice how we have the volume slider, right? If I hit pause and lock my device, and then unlock it. Notice that the volume slider is still here. This is a new feature for iOS 18 that you can actually now enable. And I find this extremely useful in situations when I'm listening to like a podcast, let's say. So if you'd like to have access to this slider to always be available, simply go into your settings, go into the accessibility tab and scroll down until you find visual and audio. In here, just make sure you enable the section where it says always show volume control. And then if we go back to our music, but don't hit play and we lock our device, we at least always have this volume control slider always available. And now, if you ever listen to music and you feel like the EQ setting isn't right for you, you'll be able to find this if you scroll down to all your apps on the bottom right here and look for the music app. As in here, you'll find EQ settings right here. And you have all these fixed EQ settings you can select from, and you can play music as you're selecting them. So you can hear the changes in real time. And for the loudness, loudness is a good one, but also late night is also another great one to select from if you enjoy like EDM style songs. And then the AirPod Pro second generations, believe it or not, the case itself is indeed wire resistant. So don't fear if they actually go through the washer, mine has a couple of times, and they still work perfectly fine. So it's not just the earbuds are wire resistant, the case itself is also wire resistant. And if you like to share audio with a friend or a family member or somebody who has like a compatible earbuds like these Beats right here, they're also compatible on iOS 18 because as you're playing music or watching a movie as an example, so right now I have this song playing, right? If I bring down Control Center, if I bring down Control Center and tap on these little icon right here where it shows the audio that's playing, you'll see a share audio ability. Here, just follow the unscreen instructions. And then here you will be able to see, you could connect to two devices at the same time. And this icon for the volume rocker has also changed because if you long hold now, you could adjust the volume on both of those devices individually. And you could also change their different modes as well from here for your partner or friend or anybody you're sharing your music with and you just want to listen to the same device, off the same device, I'm sorry, all right here from one Apple device. And while you and your friend are enjoying a movie, you can also rest your iPhone 
on the AirPods case like this, and it can actually act like a little stand for it. Now, if you're also a MacBook user, the earbuds do have built-in metal, magnets and such, where if you position it right here, you can actually use your Mac as a little placement holder for your AirPods. So if you're working and you're done, or you get back to your device, they're right there. It works better if you place them down here as well, as there's a built-in magnet located on the very bottom. Now, when listening to your favorite song, the AirPods themselves, they do have built-in audio slider, which you can just slide up to increase the audio or slide down to lower it. And then a single tap will pause the media you're listening to and will resume back if you single tap again. Well, a squeeze, I should say. And then a double squeeze will go to the next track and a triple squeeze will take it back to the previous listen track. Now, if you enjoy listening to a lot of white noise, you'll be surprised that the AirPod Pros, they have this built into them automatically. You'll find it if you go in Control Center and Long Code and add Control. And you want to go ahead and look for the ear icon, which is labeled Hearing. It's going to be in the Hearing Accessibility tab. And if you add this, if you select this, not only will it show you the battery life percentage, but this is where you can select background sounds. So if you like the sound of raindrop, you can select it and start hearing background sounds, basically. You can also disable it or enable it from here, as it will show you the decibel levels based off the volume that you adjusted. And another cool thing you could do in here is live listening. By selecting this, it's utilizing the microphone on your iPhone and transferring the sound to the earbuds. So use this responsibly because there has been people leaving their phone in a separate room just to eavesdrop. But if you discover a suspicious phone, just look on top. If you see a little orange marker, well, it's obvious that the microphone is enabled and it's a spy unit. And well, if you discover an iPhone trying to eavesdrop, just grab it, tap once volume up, tap down, volume down, and long hold on the power button and you'll have the ability to turn it off for them. But back here, you also will see the hearing assistant abilities where you can adjust the balance, the tone, and so much more. So technically you can adjust the EQ settings in here, but this is all for the hearing assistant. And then on above here, if you're playing media, play dead mouse again. If you go back to it, you can monitor the decibel levels to the audio that you're listening to. Now, regardless, if you have the AirPods with the lightning port or the USB-C, if you have an Apple Watch charger or a MagSafe charger, these are fully compatible. You could use the charger you used to charge like your Apple Watch to charge these as they will magnetically stay on. Same goes for a MagSafe too. And when they're charging, if you just double tap the LED light indicator, this will cause it to illuminate and show you the battery life stats of the color of the LED light. So obviously green will mean it's fully charged and ready. But for the best results, it's best to use a widget to monitor the battery life percentage right here on your device. It works for a lock page as well as the side page right here. And just go ahead and enter wiggle mode to add that battery widget. And you have these different style options to choose from. And just like that, now you know all the best features about the AirPod Pros and all the new stuff that Apple added with these recent updates. Now, if you're curious what kind of accessories I'm rocking on my personal AirPod Pros, like this lock case, as well as these silicone earbuds, I have them linked in the description down below, but I go more into detail in this video over there. Thank you so much for watching.